Hello and welcome once again to Caversham Central. In my last update a few weeks ago I mentioned that I was thinking about potentially extending the layout and um, really sort of increasing the size of the, the maintenance area and uh, DMU um, storage facilities. So I've decided to push ahead with that project. I've, I've done a bit of work on that. So this is a, a pretty quick update really just to show you uh, progress so far and uh, maybe to give you an idea of the kind of things I'm, I'm thinking of, of doing with it. Okay so the original uh, maintenance unit um, is situated here. Now I've actually taken up the the two uh, you know maintenance sheds which were there and just left the the concrete hard standing area and um, if I pan around you can see um, that I've just added a, a, a bit of a, an extension. It's not huge. I think we're looking probably about four foot by two foot. Um, but actually, you know, you can get a reasonable amount of stock stored in there. So quite a quite a, an extra bit of space for me. When uh, when the layout was originally made, I actually had the the baseboards made for me. I'm I'm not the best. Um, I'm certainly not handy. But I had a go at making my own baseboard um, for this, and I think it's I think it's turned out okay. Um, it hasn't fallen down yet anyway, so all it is really is some um, the, the the framework is two by two um, wood and um, as you can see it's attached to the wall underneath the baseboard with uh, I think there's just one one leg and then I've attached it to the existing layout here and screwed it all together and uh, put a piece of, of plywood that was left on, left over from the original. Um, layout as the as the tabletop, and then screwed it all together. Um, there you go. As you can as you can see, so it's it's you know it's reasonably reasonably sturdy. So it hasn't fallen down yet, um, and it fits together reasonably well. There's a, there's actually oops a little bit of a gap along there, but. Um, I'm going to be laying cork over the top, and I think that should still be still be okay. So I think the first job really for me is to to take up this hard standing area. Um, I'd made it originally out of um, out of um, sort of plaster, um, and I think it looks okay. But if you zoom in. If you, if I zoom in more to the point, you can see there's just some imperfections in the surface. And having looked at some of the other areas um, of hard standing, um, you know, parts of, of layouts on other on other people's channels, I think a lot of people have been using card, and I think that's probably going to be, you know, an easier substance to to use and to to make it look better. I'm not going to make all of this freestanding. Um, I think that would just be be too much, but but certainly a reasonable amount of it will be. So the idea is we'll have a hard standing area, probably sort of towards the retaining wall, and then the um, you know this side of it will just be a, a few lines to to store uh, DMUs and, and other locos and, and and rolling stock in. So that really is all I've got to to show you for the for the time being. Um, I've got some cork to to put on the um, on the tabletop, and I think that the the first job really once I've taken down some of these some of the lights lighting gantries here because I don't want them to get damaged. Once I've done that, is to have a go at trying to take up um, some of this hard standing area, and then I think there's going to be a reworking of the the track work around here, which um, it's it's just too congested at the moment. So I think I need to just simplify that and make it just a bit more logical and a bit bit easier. So a reasonable amount of work for me to be getting on with. Um, something to get my teeth into sort of heading into the autumn when you know it's too cold to do too much outside and, and having the, the layout up here gives me a, a nice alternative to X Factor or British Bake Off or any of that stuff. Anyway, so that's that's the update from me. Um, I hope you like what you've seen. I hope that um, that you agree that it should be quite a good little project. 
In addition to starting the extension of the DMU unit, I've also just had a bit of a reorganisation over here in, in this industrial corner. Um, in my last update, you may remember that I, I showed you um, what I'd done and asked for feedback. And more than one of you came back and said, actually, it looks a bit crowded. And uh, on reflection, I, I think that was you know, really valuable feedback. So thank you to those of you who, who suggested that. Um, I've removed one of the industrial units and I'm very happy with, with how it now looks. I think we've just got more room for the uh, HGVs to manoeuvre around. It's still quite tight, but not as bad as it as it was. And I think it just, yeah, it just looks more, more realistic. So uh, that's one of the changes that I've made. And I, I hope you'll agree that it's a change for the for the better and I think it out yeah, it's starting to look uh, it's starting to look quite good over in this corner so that's it for for the update um, I hope that you like what you've seen I hope that you um, you know agree with me that the, the DMU unit could be quite a an interesting little project for the autumn um, for me at least you know now the autumn's nearly here it gives me the opportunity to get up here and do a bit more a bit more work so that's something I'm going to be cracking on with um, over the, the coming months. Um, as always, I'd really welcome your comments. Any suggestions or thoughts or feedback is, uh, is, is very much appreciated. And uh, I will crack on and uh, upload another video at some point over the, the course of the next, next few weeks. Anyway, thanks for checking in and hope to see you again soon.